Hey, I posted something on the internet. I usually don't give away my deep, dark secrets, but I was just feeling a little giving. So I'm in a couple of organizations, obviously. I was in Masonry, Old Major, and obviously I'm in the Army. So I always hear people complaining about what ain't done for African Americans. And I've never been a big proponent once I came into the knowledge of self to just sit back and complain about what somebody ain't doing for us. I usually take what I can and do for myself. That's the real self-knowledge. That's real black history. But I digress. I put on the internet that I took the rituals from Masonic Lodge. I took the rituals from Omega Sci-Fi and I took the ritual from the NCO induction ceremony and gave my son at the age of 14 going to 15 a rites of passage ceremony. I thought it was imperative since most coaches have rites of cere passage ceremonies. Now let me tell you how I did it. So maybe if you have the courage, you can educate yourself because people say knowledge is power. I disagree. The application of knowledge is power. A lot of us know what to do, but we're scared to death to do it. A lot of us can argue what to do. We have all kind of evidence, but you're still scared to death. So it actually doesn't even make sense for you to actually read anything because you ain't gonna apply. But again, I digress. So what I did was I took the rituals and I took four men that I was close to at the time uh, and I called the rites of passage youth, old age, and manhood. So the first one, we had a guy who was 21 years old. He was in the room. He was playing loud music. He had a boom box. He had on a do-rag, and he gave my son some knowledge of what it was like to be 21. Gave him a gift, metaphorical gift, and sent him on his way. He went to the next person, then the next person, then the next person was a 45 year old man who just happened to be a friend of mine at CW3 and he gave him the wisdom of what it was going to be like with him in the future. After he received those gifts and of course he was blindfolded as you say in certain rituals he was hoodwinked. <laughs> he took those uh, after he got that from the old age the man that was 45 at the time then we put him in the car we brought him back to the house his friends, some of his friends was there, and we took the NCO induction ceremony ritual when I made E5. I went from the E4s over to the E5. We took him from his friends, and then we put him over uh, with the men. My wife sung the Black National Anthem, and it wasn't a dry eye in the house. After we did that, we compiled his gifts, his grandfathers talked to him a little bit, and then we ate dinner. It was as simple as that. I'm sure he was 14, going to 15 at that time. I'm sure he thought his father was nuts. Why is he doing it and everybody else ain't doing it? I'm sure everybody in my house thought I was nuts. Why is my father so freaking crazy? Yeah, but you know, that's what a father does. He leaves and he changed generational curses. I did that for my son and hopefully, hopefully, one day when he has children, he'll have the courage to do it for them. He doesn't have to do the same ritual that I did. He doesn't have to take the things that I did, but it needs to be some form of rites of passage to let him know he's moving from boy to man, okay? So I hope this helps. And before you start with all of the pagan stuff, and that's satanic, <sighs> you're just talking. You're just running your mouth as usual, talking about what people should do, what they could do, what they ought to do, and you ain't doing none of it. And my favorite saying, I'll give you my four eyes. This is what I live by, and this is what I had my children to say every time they left the house. And you should get you a philosophy. I live by the four eyes. I as in letter, but I as in can see. Interdict mediocrity, intercept ignorance, influence, and uh, infuse excellence. And my favorite one, I want you to hear this carefully because everybody likes to tell me what to do. <laughs> Influenced by many, defined by none. I'm going to say that again. 
influence by many, defined by none, and to dig mediocrity, intercept ignorance, infuse excellence, influenced by many, defined by none, the four eyes. Whoa!